and good evening to you. We will still be dodging some showers and storms as we look ahead to the weekend. So heads up for tomorrow into your Sunday. It won't be entirely dry. Nonetheless, certainly nothing compared to what we dealt with yesterday. So here we go. The remnants of Helene at this point centered right there over Kentucky, but producing convection thunderstorms from North Carolina all the way to New York and then as far west as Missouri down to Arkansas. So just a powerhouse of a system as it continues to work its way slowly through the Midwest and there it's just going to kind of meander and be more of a rainmaker. Now in its wake because of those onshore winds, we will still have that high threat for rip currents through Saturday afternoon. So through tomorrow at 2 p.m. Also that high threat for high surf, which of course could be dangerous. So bottom line, especially with some of that debris floating around out there, stay out of the water through tomorrow. At least wait until things can be a bit more cleaned up. Speaking of which, let's take a live look outside right now. The Caloosahatchee River, which thankfully tonight continues to drop. It did peak at major flood stage overnight, just over five feet. The last time it was that high, of course, was Ian, which hit two years ago tomorrow. So still seeing a lot of that cloud cover in the remnants in the wake from that tail of Helene. So still mostly cloudy for those of you venturing out, but just some spotty rain showers at this point. And as we head out through the rest of your evening, notice this shower storms few and far between light southwesterly winds will continue 10 to 15 miles per hour. Looking ahead to tomorrow morning, unfortunately, it looks like showers and storms could be impacting those Saturday morning plans. So just a heads up scattered storms in the mix for your Saturday morning and even continuing through midday so this could impact maybe some play dates or if you have any baseball games this is something we're going to be tracking because we will have that higher potential for those showers and storms midday even continuing into the afternoon but as of now it does look like those storms will be thinning out a little bit as we head later into the day so by five o'clock showers and storms not quite as numerous now let's take you through your sunday help you make those plans of course we have a lot of wonderful festivities going on here across southwest florida including the island hopper music festival very exciting there heading into your sunday morning Still, again, expecting those isolated to scattered showers and storms. And with that onshore flow, it does look like some of those scattered storms will stick around into your Sunday. Rain chances for Sunday around 40% for tomorrow, keeping them a bit higher around 60%. All right, we got to talk about it. Five different systems. We've already discussed Helene. So first things first, let's talk about Joyce. This is Tropical Storm Joyce. Sustained winds of 50 miles per hour, gust up to 65. It's my favorite kind of tropical storm because it's not going to be impacting land. It will continue to meander there in the central Atlantic. And then just to the east of Joyce here near the Cabo Verde Islands, this wave of energy, which was a wave that rolled off the coast of Africa, certainly warrants watching, but we have plenty of time to monitor. As of now, a 30% probability of further formation over the course of the next week. A little farther up toward the north, we have Isaac. Isaac now officially a hurricane, but once again, not a threat to the United States. Eventually, some of its remnants could affect spots like the UK, but way down the road. But for now, again, a storm for the fish. And this is going to be the wave of energy we're really going to be focused on heading into next week. Not anything to worry about just yet, but it's something certainly to monitor. So we are expecting a wave of energy here to develop in the Western Caribbean, then crossing up through the Yucatan Channel, eventually emerging there into the Southern Gulf. So as of now, 30% probability of formation here over the course of the next week. Now, breaking down tomorrow, here's what we can expect. Again, showers and storms are anticipated for the morning, staying scattered as we head into the afternoon, then gradually thinning out later in the day. So it does look like 5 to, say, 7 p.m. That's going to be your drier time frame as we are expecting things to stay pretty active for the morning into midday. Now, as for those winds, generally expected actually out of the east and southeast, so a little bit of a wind shift there, and that's a good thing. That's why we are still expecting some gusts 10 to 20 miles per hour, but otherwise winds certainly more manageable, especially, of course, compared to yesterday. So talking a bit more about that seven-day forecast, what we can expect over the weekend, scattered downpours expected both Saturday into Sunday, lower rain chances forecast for your Monday, followed by simply afternoon storms Tuesday through the rest of next week.